can make it Pull me off the pavement Bring me back to basics Ever since I left you You took a part of me, I can't replace it I'm half of what I came with Carrying the same weight Now I need a rescue To pick me up and make me rise Remind me what I felt Before I went away Tonight I need your help Remembering myself Take me right back to the start Hey Luna, thank you so much for the follow. Oh, I was a little high, I can barely hear myself. Hey Cardi Pig, how are all of you guys? Yeah, like, um, I have to see how my... Okay, everything seems good now. It's so quiet, though, if I think I want to. I can barely hear my music if I put it down one take, but then put it up one take, it's like... Ugh. Manually controlling it. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> well, I mean, that happens every time you get like a new pair of like headphones or earbuds, right? You gotta readjust to like what kind of level would be okay for you. So, overall, your, your music volume is okay though, right? I don't think I'm like tweaking with anything on your end, it should just be my end. Anyway, yeah, I so I played a game of comp this morning, solo queue, and uh, not gonna lie, I I feel pretty bad for the other team that I was playing against because they had an, a guy who just ended up inting when it was their turn to turn to defend. Like they lost first point, and then. Like, he just decided to go into a corner behind second point and then just shoot into the wall. And I was like, oh my god, this guy actually did in for the rest of the game. I mean, it feels bad because, like, for us, since since we defended first, it, it was just sort of like, yeah, we're just going to keep on trying until the end because we had to wait until the end of this round. And, um... When it came to their turn, this guy was just like, "I give up," right away. Like he he didn't even want to try to draw. Uh, he didn't even want to try for the draw. And I mean, it was gonna be a loss, I think, pretty decidedly because, um, they used all their ults to prevent a snowball. Uh, when we came to attack second point, anyway. So, I, I mean, I felt really bad. I, I was watching the game. I actually watched the replay from, like, the main support's POV. Like, the off support was thrown. It's like, the main support. Like, he was he was trying. He, he's not, he's a hit scan main in plat. So, it's not like the mechanics were all that great. But, like, he, he tried. I could tell he was at least trying all the way until the very end. And then, like, uh, oh, it was just, <laughs> it was pr pretty bad. I felt really bad for that guy. Man.
I mean, I understand kind of feeling like it's an L, but you gotta try. Like, feeling the GG. That's never good. You, you should never, ever do that to your team. I felt so bad for it. Not, not only that, but there was like a point where I valked and it was kind of uh, not a very good one. So, um, I was like, oh, okay, well, I want to make sure that they don't, they get staggered, they don't get out or whatever. So I was like, oh, I saw the, the Ana go this way. So I went around. <laughs> And then I pistoled them. And when I saw the playback from their POV, I was like, oh man, I feel like such a jerk. <laughs> I felt pretty terrible. I was like, no, no, don't kill the guy who's trying. No. <laughs> I felt like such a terrible person. Playing and typing is going well. <laughs> you might want to. It was. It was pretty obvious that uh, when I was watching their replay from their POV, because I, I was curious what the guy wa who was throwing what he was doing. I was watching it from the replay, and there were so many times in between fights where you see the other team walking suddenly stop, and you knew they were typing at each other, and then like it, walking stop. And I'm just like, oh my god, why aren't they using their actual voice comms? <laughs> I I felt really bad. It, it was it was it was not a good time. <clears throat> Zarya's who end up holding grab for a long time because sometimes they just never had the opportunity. Like the the, the enemy Zarya in my game, <clears throat> they I think they grab like only once all game and they didn't really have a choice because there were no opportunities to use it and unfortunate. <clears throat> but yeah, it's just I felt really bad. <laughs> Cause I mean, I was playing okay. My mercy wasn't too bad, but uh we lost first point because <clears throat> I got caught out. Um and not and I wasn't paying attention to our main tank, which I mean that that was my fault. I, I was main heal and we had a Zenyana for off heal. But I was so concerned about our um our widow who kept getting like harassed by the vault the Hammond from the enemy team. So I I was just kinda of thinking like, okay, well I can't really just let our widow get picked off because we need on her for pressure to keep the enemy team from like being too free, you know? Like, literally having a Widow is huge. Just, Widow presence is, like, such a massive advantage. Um, and they didn't have a sniper. So, I wanted to make sure our Widow never actually died, but the, in the process, I let our Arisa die. And that was my fault. That's why we lost first point. Um. <laughs> and, um. 
Uh, thank you, uh, Baystar. I hope that's how you wanted it pronounced. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. So, uh, I'm, I'm, I'll I'll give you my opinion on Sigma after I finish this. Uh, so we lost first point because I made a really stupid mistake. I let our main tank die, and um, then we had to fall back, and our off support went to Brig. So, I mean, Brig's not necessarily really good right now, in my opinion, but it's flat, and I mean. <laughs> Well, whatever works. If that if that's one of your best heroes, then whatever, go for it. So, I mean, like they played smart. They did. They never overextended as Brig. Like they they were really good at making sure they stayed alive, at least within the environment that we are in. So that was perfect because. She could give all this healing to everybody, all this trickle healing, because we have an Ariza shield, invincible, uh, inf infinite shield, so we don't have to worry too much about like random chip damage because she's keeping everyone top off. And I can literally just bounce around um, healing spike damage on tanks or making sure that like our, at the time it was uh, our Widow went Junkrat and then our Mei went um, Genji. So. So in all that, it worked out. Like she, I mean, it did, it did their job, you know. So um, and they just were never able to. They were never able to actually break us. I, I mean, they had everything that they could have to break us like they they had a Hammond they had a Doomfist um the Zarya with the grabs like all you need to do is space jam or just grab pile drive like any combo and the only grab that I mean that I got stuck in anyway I didn't die like nobody actually died in the grab so I, I was extremely confused what the heck happened. Um, so. so th there's that. Um, and we, we had maybe only about 10 seconds less time to defend second point than they did. And we held without giving any ticks up. So when it came to their turn to attack i mean there when it came to our turn to attack and their turn to defend they just kind of i don't know they tried to do like symmetric cheese and that didn't work because like the hammond used the teleport to come uh the ha hammond uses teleport to reach the back line I slept the Hammond and like Symmetra, I don't know, didn't, didn't literally didn't do anything because I, uh, me and the hog ended up killing her and then we pushed first point. I landed a YOLO sleep on their main support and we took first point and then the, from there, their, their off support just gave up. And I was just like, wow, okay. So, okay. My thoughts on Sigma. Right, and that's what you want. You wanted to know. Sigma is in need of a damage tweak. His primary does too much. Uh, I understand it needs to hit hard. It has to hit hard. I understand that it hits too hard because of how he can literally two shot any 200 HP character. Even Ryan needs to swing three times unless he's nano boosted or mercy boosted, you know, like there that is, that is it is by no means fair that Sigma has the capacity to two shot Or I mean technically yeah, it is still three hits that he needs to land but then there it's He hits too hard they need to tweak his primary. Uh, 
But other than that, I mean, okay. Tweak the primary and make it so it doesn't have a... Uh, his primary shouldn't do like a freaking environmental boot. Literally, all of Sigma's damage does an environmental nudge, and that should not be the case. Like, it's like... I mean, I, I know it's three hits from a Ryan main because I'm always running away from Ryan's and I'm basically like, oh shit, I took one hit from the hammer. I need to get away before he lands a second, otherwise I'll be one HP. So... <laughs> yeah, I know it's like, you. all you need to do is land a primary punch for Tracer on Sigma. I mean, like, that's... That's kind of dumb. Because Ryan, his, his his melee is his primary. Sigma has the ca capacity to animation cancel between primary punch. Like, how is that fair? Like, no, he he needs some tweaking, or his his uh his damage output is too high. But um. But other than that, I think he, his kit is a, is good in a, in the sense that it'll work well if, as long as he doesn't have another shield tank with him. You don't deserve the three hit call. I think. I think Aris, uh, I think Sigma, as a tank conceptually, is a good is good. I think overall he, he he's got like an interesting kit. People find him fun. His pri his damage output needs to be dialed back just a tiny bit, just, just a little bit. Dial it back. You don't have to make him hit like a wet noodle, but dial it back, okay? Because of the fact that his melee primary whatever is like how far out it reaches this no <sighs> Well, Ryan is 70, right? I would say 80. That way he can't, uh, like, primary melee combo a Tracer. I mean, like, I, I don't know. Like, I'm I'm definitely not the best person to be asking for exact numbers. I'm only able to like, give an opinion on like how things feel um, because I've never been very good with uh, I've never been very good with like theory crafting specific numbers. I've always been an intuitive gamer. Okay, I know that sounds really stupid, but I learn how to play different things intuitively be like this feels like it should be a little bit stronger a little weaker like that kind of thing i don't and i can't give an exact number <laughs> it's it's stupid and probably a huge discredit to any opinion that i have about game balancing but that's how i do like, the only way I really learn how to do stuff when I play a game, video games, is I have to play. And I have to play a lot. I, like, if I want to get better at certain things, I know I have to play a lot. And the unfortunate thing is that I don't have the time to invest. So, feels bad, man.
<laughs> hey, I need consistency, okay? Same character. I gotta be consistent. I'm not drying the glasses over again. It's kind of like how it's a whole matter of, uh... How I think I'm good at something, but in reality, I'm not. <laughs> That's how it is with, with Overwatch, with drawing. It's like, yeah, I think I'm good enough, but no, no, not really. Nah. I'm actually a hack, guys. I'm sorry for deceiving you all. Oh, thank you, <laughs> I appreciate that a lot. Definitely, like, uh, really hard on myself. And I know I shouldn't be, or I should try not to be, but at the same time, it's kind of like... You know how when you're- when you are competitive and whatnot, and everyone's kind of like... You're actually your best self if you have a rival kind of thing? Because that rival will push you to greater heights or whatever. And I mean, sometimes, sometimes you yourself have to be your worst rival. <laughs> yeah, I'm lucky that I have um, a lot of people who have been really supportive of me. Help me to do what I love as a job. No, I, I, I don't have, um, I don't have, <laughs> I don't have the sub for BTTV. So, I only have five emotes. What I don't understand is why Monka S isn't like a default BTTV emote and you have to activate it on your channel. I'll never understand that. Is it? It's a global now? Thank god. Okay, I'm gonna... Let's see what we can replace Monka S with. But you're gonna have to let me know if it actually isn't working anymore. No, just keep it. Just keep at it.
So I mean, it might not have refreshed yet, so you don't you don't know for sure. I'm gonna actually refresh my chat. Nope! It's not a global emote! Hey Gil. Or Jill. You were lied to, I know, right? That's so unfortunate. Because yeah, I it doesn't work when you refresh, so let's see. I think um I can add more though, and I've forgotten that to actually add. Why can't you freaking search? Oh, stupid. I re-enabled it. It is a global. What? We've been lied to. Okay, you know what? I'm removing it. I'm gonna leave it uh, removed for now, and we'll see how that goes. No, 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 no. You're you're not a liar. It is in global. Like I'm looking at it right now.
or how I want to do this or that and then uh, I'll watch how other artists do uh, the thing that I want to try to do and uh, sometimes sometimes it's like oh hey then that's actually better and I'll adapt adapt it into my own style you know Yeah, I mean, like, other people are like that too. Sometimes they can't build from fundamental skeletons and stuff, and... I mean, although I would encourage anyone who is doing drawing and whatnot to actually learn how to do that above all things, because um, getting your fundamentals down is really, really important. And not having them can really screw up... Uh, your structure of your art in general but that being said it's not like an the end-all be-all of how to draw if you can if you can build the drawing in some other way and still have it be correct quotes uh, then that's fine that that's totally fine Yeah, but there's also the thing where sometimes you, if it is something that is wrong, you can still take what you've drawn, start and then start reverse engineering it, break down the parts, and then um, after you've done that, you take a uh, you take a step back and look at it, and you can you'll be able to see where the problems are if you can like break down the parts and be like, oh well, then this is. This is uh, not symmetrical enough, or um, I don't know, like this side is curvier than the last side, or like oh, the the like the two arms are different sizes, or two legs are different sizes, like that, <laughs> you know. Yeah, I mean, in, in the end, it is better just to just have your fundamentals down. It'll make being able to uh, improvise your own stuff later on easier. Uh, but if you can't do it, then that's, then that's not to say, no, you should not use any of the other um, tricks that you've already learned. The only thing that, but then, there, there's the downside. You use those tricks, and you, and it, you might end up building bad habits. You have to make sure you try your very best to not build bad habits. Because I have many, many bad habits <laughs> because of the fact that I was self-taught. So, <laughs> yeah, it's hard. It's hard. And I, I've been trying very hard to break many of those bad habits. It's takes time. It takes lots of time. <laughs> Falling in and 
I mean, if you can learn to sort of develop those bad habits into uh, good tricks and shortcuts to supplement standard, then, then that's fine. Like, it's all a matter of converting bad habits into good habits. Hey Ash, how you doing? <laughs> hey, don't don't sweat it. Just keep practicing. <laughs> hey, Harry Pay, you're you are starting from scratch, from square one. So don't take it too hard, you know. You're trying, and. Like the end. 
Uh, you can... When you click on a, a layer, you can hit Control T and that brings up transform tools. And then up here, you can just adjust the angle. No, I wasn't looking for the tool. I was looking for the freaking angle that I need. Like, I was trying to eyeball it. Apparently I failed miserably. You don't have to worry about disturbing me, but I appreciate you stopping by. Thanks so much. You have a good day. Oh, you're going to sleep. Oh, you're all... Everybody is in the EU. Have a good night. Suki, how are you? Okay, food first. Fair enough. Fair enough. Deadline for the Tsumi thing in a few days. Chop chop, Sora, chop chop.
I mean, I kind of wanted to do a cute drawing and like just be and make her look like super like I don't know super cute anime girl, kind of Miku esque, but eh, I didn't really feel like it. <laughs> It's like she has the hair for it, and I could totally have made up like some kind of I don't know, some kind of Miku esque uh, outfit for her. But I don't know, Ming. Well, I mean, you were be you were trying to be responsible adult to me, right? You gotta at least try to return the favor. Missions is a good thing. Like, don't get me wrong. I am super grateful to everybody, every client that I have, and they're all like ridiculously patient with me. Like, if ever I have a, a hang up where I'm kind of just like, I, I, I said I would have it by this day, but I really don't feel like drawing. They're like, it's fine. Don't worry. Just. Take your time and work on it when you can. Like everybody's been so amazing. And I feel like I don't know. <laughs> I do not deserve I don't deserve like the super nice clients that I get. They're all like really patient. It's crazy because you get the you get the clients that are kind of or you you get the people who ask and they're kind of jerks about what how you have your your whole system set up and they're all like oh you're too expensive or blah blah like they, they try to like make you feel like shit for what you you're doing with your work and then and then I get but then I get so many like of the ones that like they spoil me they, they let me take my time they <laughs> They're they're like like so much more like resoundingly grateful when you finish your work and it's just it's like surreal. Cause I like almost all of my clients are like that. The the good ones, you know? Like I I, I don't get the ones that are like particularly difficult where they're like okay clients but you kinda don't really wanna work with them sort of type people. I don't have any of those. It's like I, I, all the clients that I get are just like amazing, and I'm always kind of like, what did I do to deserve you? <laughs>
<laughs> you walked into that one, Sora. You can't you can't deny that. Hard though, like when there are so many times where I'd like to be able to like actually draw stuff for people as gifts, I just I haven't been able to do that in forever, and I feel bad when I can't. And it's like I know nobody really cares if I like not in the, not like that, but I mean like they they they'll ha they're happy no matter what it is that I give them. But it's just sometimes I kind of feel like oh I should. I should draw something for these people, but it's like, in the end, I'm not, I don't have the time. Oh my god, what am I going to do? Help! Help! Like, you know? Crazy, I tell you. Crazy! No, no, don't leave! Don't leave! Don't leave me, Sora! Be me, my love! Suki, why are you gonna ruin it? Cry, cry. <laughs> the ultimate plot has been foiled, but still works out. Hmm. <laughs> There's something 
internally wrong with my computer. It's like, it's still running fine, but there's like... It feels like there's something off. And I have no idea what it is. And I'm worried that like, my computer's just gonna implode one day and I'm not gonna be able to like, work. <laughs> so... Oh. Testing this to see if it's been... Yay, it's working now. Great. Okay, so it... Monka S is indeed a global emote. For a while, it was not a global emote, which made absolutely no sense. But it is confirmed. And Luna's not here, so whoops. Skill. This is skill. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I it's like what's typing? What's spelling? Who knows how to actually type correctly? <laughs> See it at that size. Why? Well, you can assume what it is, I guess. You can see it at 56 pixels, so I guess that works out. Uh, no, I didn't. See Chopper's stream in a while. Why? <laughs> How's that Babby doing anyway? Everyone's a freaking Babby. Stop being Babbies. You're making me feel old. Like, I had no idea Chopper was so young until he told me like a couple months back. He's still in high school. It's like, oh, geez. Wrong. <laughs> 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 oh, I mean. No, when I'm not wrong. And Gabby. Oh my gosh, she's on top of that shit. Uh he was fifteen when I asked him a couple months back. So, he's either 15 or 16. <laughs> yeah, Chopper is a baby! God, remember? Remember when it was all like, holy crap, all these people are so young, like pugs. Aspen's now 18, so she's not that babby anymore, but still, like, when she first came, like, when people started noticing her, she was, like, 16. Um... Yeah. Pugs. Who was the other one? Saturn, I think, was one. There was, uh, also Zerg. Zerg was, like, a babby. Gale was a babby. He's legal now, so he's not as babby anymore. Everyone's like a freaking babby. You know, Roan is still a babby. Roan is what, 17? Yeah, Gengu is kind of... The only way you can make Genji work is you have an Ana who nano pockets you. That that is basically yeah. I mean that's how it is. Like Haxel, Water, they play when they play Genji, they literally only nano blade. But the the thing is is that they're very, very good at building blade very fast. 
That's why they can still make Genji work in ranked. And because in a team environment, you have a lot of control, so you can actually have a Genji still in pro play. It's actually, it's probably easier, quote, to play Genji in pro play because it's coordinated. <clears throat> but like, in ranked, you, you have to just be extremely, extremely good at building your blades as quickly as possible without dying. Wow, Barty Pig, you've turned into the one thing I probably hate the most right now. Yeah, I never understood what it is with you and focusing tanks, dude, like... You get... You get... Nanoblade, and for whatever reason... I have a clip... Where... I, I specifically die to nano you, and then you use it on the Orisa. And then it takes you like four slashes to kill her, and I'm just like... What are you doing? And then in the that freaking video that I made, uh, BCP nanos you. You go diving on in. You go for the hog. Why? Why did you go for the hog? <laughs> Maybe you're- maybe you are made to be a Doomfist player, because a Doomfist, uh, crowd controlling a tank is quite possibly the most obnoxious thing that he could do and probably win a team fight for them. It's like for Doomfist, it's like, supports? Pfft, I'm just gonna fucking kill this tank here with one, like, right click. Although even on Doomfist, you should still be killing the supports! Party Pig, there are 200 HP heroes to the side of you! Why are you hitting the 400 HP heroes? <laughs> How the hell do you- how do you miss with right click, excuse me? Party pig, what are you doing? You can't be bad at video games, dude. But you are- You don't give yourself enough credit, because you are actually decent at the game. It's just, I don't understand, you make some really- really questionable decisions. You at least hit them with Seismic Slam, right? <laughs> you, you don't miss Seismic Slam, right? <laughs> oh my god. I, 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 you don't even have to have your reticle. Okay. Okay. All right. 
It's fine, because you don't even need to have your reticle on them and they still hit people. <laughs> They just have to be on your screen then. <laughs> I can understand missing the right click because the, the hitbox recognition on that shit has always been broken. It's the stupidest thing in the game. No, it's not the stupidest thing in the game, but it's one of the stupidest things in the game. The sliding on walls thing isn't really like an issue so much as it's like the terrain physics are just kind of stupid anyway. I mean, simply put, Party Pig, this is a dumb character. <laughs> <laughs> Doomfist is not a good character. <laughs> face of disappointment at you right now. <laughs> you try to play Tracer in quick play, I've seen it. And then you switch off immediately. <laughs> you know, honestly, I have no idea what the hell I would play on DPS now. Because everything that is strong in this meta, I absolutely hate. Hey, I'm Luna. It's just kind of dumb because, like, like I prefer to play sniper types because, like. They're the ones that I've put the most time into. Ugh, I don't know. <laughs> but like Silent and Hawks are all like, we're gonna double pocket you when you play when you do your DPS placements. I'm like, uh. So essentially you're telling me that when I do my DPS placements, you're going to int along with me, is that it?
Uh, just support placements. This past for the roll queue beta. And I did them with my coworker, so you can imagine how that went. <clears throat> It's like I tried really hard to to do my best on my best hero, but like mercy cannot carry if there is nothing if there is nothing for her to enable. I mean, like you have all those games on streams where they're all like, "Oh wow, this mercy carried because she had someone to enable." She enabled the fuck out of the streamer. And then she was able to pull off some nutty reses and get clutch kills. That is the only way you can carry on Mercy. She cannot solo carry. So it's just... Ugh. Like I had, uh, like, what was it? Uh, the, the new guy is GM. But he's a GM support. So, like, his, his Farah is good. Like, he's really good at Farah. Definitely like master low GM Farah, but the problem is <sighs> the rest of our team can't really do anything unless we're able to hard carry uh, on Merce on Far Mercy. And if we can't, then we just fucking get rolled. That's terrible. Uh, two of them are silver. One is gold, but he's like a gold Lucio, and he hasn't really played a solid competitive season in a while. Uh, one of them is Plat Flex, uh, predominantly Moira main, but he can. I I, I feel like his his, the, his other roles are at least Plat as well because his game sense carry over pretty well to his DPS and his Zarya anyway. And then there's me and Pat. So, I, I ended up placing my support in silver. So, it's gold now, but it's just, it placed at like 1900, and I was just like, ah, oh my god, that is absolutely atrocious. Oh, I mean, like, I can't really complain much about it. Because, I mean, my coworkers were trying. It's not like they were intentionally trying to throw. It's just, it's hard because they're just not as practiced. And they, they haven't played the game as much as me. Uh, well, at least at the level that I'm used to. Like, they haven't played at the level I'm used to. Has definitely played way more than all of us. So.
Yeah, anyway, the whole... That whole debacle... It's just something that I need to get over on my own, because no one... No one is it to blame for anything, because it's just how it is. I placed in silver, because I am bad.
do something other than just um people want to do something other than just play like May or Sim or like I don't know, they just want to play something that has like aiming involved. So Mercy tends to be a better pick at higher elo when you get comps with those play with those heroes. But then when you <laughs> But then at lower elos you get the people playing. May, Symmetra, like Okay, far you play Mercy regardless, and then <clears throat> then you get the Genjis, which generally you want to have an Ana and a Nano the Blade. So, because Mercy Pocket and Genji isn't really the best thing unless the Genji's like really good at uh, pre-planning his ult, and that's only really like a high level thing. So, <laughs> I don't know, man. Maybe I'm just talking out my ass. <laughs> but yeah, because otherwise you're dead. Literally every hero that is meta right now has a CC. Like how do you expect to play Genji into that? basically have to be water or Hexel to make it work. Yeah, I mean, that's what you're supposed to do. Literally all Genjis can do now is poke to get Dragon Blade and then they need a nano. That That is how you play Genji now. I'm so sorry for your loss, party pig. Do you? Do you really not care? You'd be surprised, Blizzard's doing a hell of a lot better than some other companies. A lot of really dumb shit. Do you want to know how many people have dealt with playing World of Warcraft? They have had to put up with so much shit because Blizzard keeps getting things wrong and yet they still play the goddamn game on a subscription, no less. Still doing a hell of a lot better than some other games. Somehow.
Well, I mean, you'd be sad because you can't play the best boy, right? You can't play your favorite hero. That's something to be sad about. Like, okay. When it came to World of Warcraft, when Legion was released, I wanted so much to be able to use my preferred spec and class in Raid. <clears throat> and I couldn't because I didn't have a specific legendary item to be able to play the game. And it got to the point where I just got so upset at the fact that I was my my class spec was so utterly useless that I just ended up quitting raiding altogether. And that was the only reason why I ever played WoW was to raid. It basically took so many years of abuse from Blizzard to finally get me to actually quit WoW. That's how they get you. They get you hooked. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, hey. There's a silver lining in all of it. Whether or not you can take that away from your horrible experience, then kudos to you. There was absolutely nothing I could take away from the fact that Holy priests in early, uh, in early mythic level raiding for WoW was just <clears throat> basically useless. They, they're like so bad. I, I, I can't even explain to you how utter shit they were. And I, I tried my best to make it work, and I could get through, um, Everything up until the, the third mythic boss in Emerald Nightmare without the, the legendary item I needed to survive. And it, it, by that point, it was just kind of like, yep, I, I'm not dead. I'm done. I, I can't do this anymore because I'm always dead by the time this one mechanic comes up. And all I'm doing right now is hindering, uh, hindering progression. So... And they kept trying to get me to come back as another spec too. They're like, why don't you play Shadow? Why don't you, um, why don't you play Shadow and play DPS? Because we actually need like good DPS. I'm, like, I'm not. I'm done. I don't like the new Shadow Priest. It there's too much that they changed that I dislike about the the new Shadow Priest. There's, there's no way. And I didn't want to, like, be that guy. <laughs> and be like, yeah, you know, it's, it's not worth it because... Like, I understand why they were trying to get me to, to stick around, but they're my friends and they know that I can be good if I can figure out something that works, but it, I didn't have the heart anymore to do it. Hey, I'm proud of you, Party Pig. You, you clear those tabs. Clean up that chrome bar, because holy shit.
You had a lot of tabs. I don't know. What the frick? Is this... <clears throat> is this maple the... the player maple? <clears throat> I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you, I have a lot of tabs too, but I try to like, take them off of the same bar because I need them in separate windows. have an ultra wide yes but even on your ultra wide it looks like that Jesus Christ party pig it's like yeah you have an ultra wide but you still can't see anything you just see the icons and the tabs Problem with the problem that I have is that I need to have all these tabs open. So uh yeah. <laughs> I need more RAM simply because that's how I I do my work. And then I've got my husband all you don't need more RAM. Psst. Yeah, yes I do. You don't know what I do for work. And then he'd probably yell at me, like, You have too many tabs open, close some. He's like, You don't understand. I need all of these tabs. And then he's just gonna shake his head at me and then run away. Ish. You you realize that if I were to get more RAM, I would have to get like um uh I would have to spend at least $160 for a reasonable upgrade. Cheap. Yeah, but I don't have that kind of money to just to just be like, yeah, I need more RAM. 
and then it's just because of the fact that I have so many chrome tabs open. But my husband's okay with me using money to buy like hard, just hard drives and shit. Okay. It's like not even his money, it's my money. Like, I, this is like, whenever I make purchases for myself, it's the, the side money I have for myself to make, to be able to make these purchases. Like whenever I make purchases like this, I try my best to not have to bother like the money that we're saving up for a house, uh, money that's spent on like actual things that we need, like for insurance, for car is like car prop, like uh, whatever maintenance and whatnot, um, food, rent. Like I try my best to never touch any of that money whenever I need something for myself. Also, for paying rent, uh, my own taxes. I pay taxes out of my pocket. I don't touch any money from the bank. <laughs> the hell? Why? Because you won't have- you won't really be able to mooch off your parents? Really bad one. Yes, I, I've um... Uh, I will honestly have to attest and confirm that you are a little bit uh, irresponsible with your money. <laughs> but Marty Pig, you understand what is a smart purchase. You understand what you should and shouldn't be spending money on. The problem is, is that you don't stop yourself. Yeah, loans are kind of a... Uh... Loans are an ugly beast. Well, that's the point where you probably have to decide, um... You have to decide moving back in with your parents. Or you have to find another job. It's pretty much how it goes. learn now before you move out.
I mean, uh, not gonna lie, I have no freaking clue what I should, um... What I should be doing in terms of, uh... Actual numbers. How much should I be setting aside every month or whatever, blah, blah, blah. The, the way I have it right now is every paycheck I get every month, I put two grand into the checking account and I take the extra 600 something and leave it in my PayPal. So that way I can save up and then pay my quarterly payments for taxes. And then whatever's left over, it's just kind of like, okay, well, this is what I, this is my extra money that I can kind of do whatever I want with. Now, I'm not going to go and spend all the money. I'm gonna hang on to it and still kind of consider, well, save up for, I mean, the the end game is saving up for an upgrade to my Cintiq. There's nothing wrong with it. It's perfectly fine. Uh, but like, the surface is a little scuffed and I mean, I could have taken a little bit better care of it when uh, it was like brand new in terms of like the, the surface of the, the drawing display. But overall, I mean like, it's perfectly fine. I mean, there's no reason to replace it, except for the fact that the color on it, the color space is weird. Sin the older Cintiq models have something really off about their color space. So the colors displayed on this screen look absolutely nothing like the colors displayed on my main monitor, which is an IPS, very expensive, 144 hertz, like stuff looks amazing on the on my main monitor stuff looks kind of weird and dull on my Cintiq so so it's like coloring on this is actually kind of weird and then when I take it over to my main monitor I have to be like oh I need to fix that and go back into uh <laughs> go back to my uh photoshop and like do slight color tweaks bring it back to my main monitor and be like did that fix it because I'm this is where my color theory is really weak. And because of that whole problem I have with my color theory being really poop. <laughs> it's just kind of like, I have to go back and forth a few times. And you'd think by now I would have like taught myself how to figure it out. I'm like, no, no. Like, no, why, why should I teach myself and make my life easier? No, I'm just gonna freaking keep making it hard and difficult. Because I am not smart. <laughs> I mean, the the way everything is between me and my husband, it's like whenever he wants the new shiny thing, I actually never say no. I I'm always t I'm always like, is that what you want? Do you want it? Are you going to make use of it? And he's all like, yeah. Well, and then I'm just kind of well, then buy it. Like. There's no reason for me to ever tell him to not buy something because if it's something that he wants and he has an interest in at the time, I know he'll make use of it. And then a few months later, if he's still using it, cool. If not, well, then it's just, eh, you know, that's just how things are. He had the, he had the money, he made, he got his money's worth out of it or whatever. And then that's that. But then that, like, the only thing that I am kind of not happy about, like, he went and spent a lot of money on and didn't really make a whole lot of use out of it, was his computer. Because, yeah, for, like, the several months following after he got his computer, he did make the most of it to an extent because he was raiding and wow. He needed the 1080 Ti to, for his curved ultra wide to perform properly in raids. Um... He had to run longs because he was a rain leader and whatnot. I was like, it's fine. He did make some use out of it. But the thing is, is that now there's that 1080 Ti just sitting there not doing anything. 
legitimately his computer right now is just for our alt accounts on Ragnarok Mobile. Like, legitimately, it is running virtual machines <laughs> just to run our alts on them. <laughs> it's like, that machine, which is twice as powerful as mine, is legitimately doing nothing. Just alts. <laughs> Like it sounds like a waste now. It's like, uh, yeah, I yeah. Mean, the the way the way it is right now is that if I need to actually upgrade my machine, he is basically like, yeah. If you're getting, if you need any sort of upgrade or anything, you're just getting my computer. Again, it's it's like, again, it's another hand me down. I'm just like, I just want to be able to have a brand new computer of my own for once, for fuck's sake, you know. The thing is, is that even though he does have like really strong parts in there, there are other things that are not as good for me in it. Like because he he designed it to. I already paid. Don't go buying the pants unless you actually need them. He's a. Uh... Cause he built it for gaming. So there. I have a, a sneaking feeling that there are parts that just aren't optimized for, like, creative. I mean, granted, it's probably still gonna run shit way better than mine, my computer would, just because it's stronger, a newer machine, you know, but... Is my husband. Yes. He's like, later than usual. Okay, so, I think I'm done with these. Maybe he stopped by the store to get food. Usually, why he's late for anything coming home. Okay, so I'm done with these. Now I need to pick the emotes to update for this lady here. Folks, let's see. I need to update some emotes for Lady Feeny. So, I mean, just look at whatever you think 
isn't mine and I don't know. Decide which might be a good one to work on next. I have one already. I'm work I'm going to work on Gasp next. I need four more though.
This fire in my head has got me on edge. I'm going out tonight. Same day on a thread. Don't know what's next. I wanna feel alive. I kissed a stranger in a white dress. She put a crown on top of my head. Said every king needs a queen in his bed. I said, hey, girl, hey, girl, I like to stay. In for a while, just you and I. Far from the places we can't get away from. She said, hey.
Sorry. Back. Anyway, hey, SFN, how you doing? I don't know why there is a, a Jake the Dog emote. So, I mean, she didn't give me that one to change, so that one's gonna stay there as it is. So, like, the ones that are clearly not... Okay, basically all the ones that are, like, the dragon, that's the ones you should be concerning yourself with. So, there's really only, like...
So it's just it's like scary. <laughs> just disconnected. Oh, maybe the batteries are That's weird. What the heck? My alerts are muted. That's really weird. Okay. Really? Oh, I haven't really had too many troubles with Cintiq. I mean, there was that one issue when Windows Inc. was like doing some weird stuff. Uh, but then they finally fixed it, thank god. Oh, that's that's actually really weird. I haven't had that problem with mine.
<laughs> well, I'm happy you're excited. Oh, okay, you mean that you had a, an older model. Yeah. It's rough. Um, maybe you can get one of the new Huion Pro palettes. They're, they're still a, a pretty penny, but they're significantly cheaper than Cintiq, and they're starting to incorporate uh, tilt recognition into them. So it might be those might be worth a look. Oh, don't see. I'm sure your final art looks incredible. <laughs> Procreate uh, tools and all that, they're pretty good. Um, if I ha didn't already have like a Cintiq or whatever, I'd probably be looking at like, like uh, devices and tools like that, you know. Hmm. That looks I mean, eventually, one day I hope I can afford to buy a um, Cintiq Pro 24 HD because it's a uh, it's the whole device is about the size of what I have right now, and uh, it'll generally have like the same sort of utility with the ergonomic stand and whatnot. But uh, it's so much more expensive, so I have to wait. Also, thank you, Mantis, so much for the follow. I appreciate that.
You're welcome.
You said a black bullet was good for me. <laughs> All right, you too, Mantis. Thanks for hanging out. I appreciate it. so annoying because like I get phone the phone call rings through my computer too
the wing, and I think we are set. guys didn't get to see more uh more fiend emotes getting drawn so this is it for now um if you were curious what my gasp looks like so far the uh, the d colon style so we've got gasp and uh banger coming up like so Thank you guys so much for hanging out. I appreciate you guys following and everything. Um, sorry the stream, the stream was kind of short today. I started late. Well, I mean, it is later than usual for ending, but uh, yeah. I appreciate everyone hanging out with me. I will try to get maybe one more stream in this week. Um, it really depends on my work and all that kind of stuff, so. <laughs> okay. You guys, take care. I will see you next stream, and I hope you all have a good night. Bye-bye!